Shumai, yo, what's happening, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This is a bit of a departure for me, a bit of a new style of video for me. I've been thinking about how to grow the channel, attract more attention, get more of you looking at my increasingly red and weathered face. But um, I thought one of the ways of being more up to date and being more topical was if I could make these kind of reaction videos where calm down i'm not going to start reacting to movie trailers and stuff like that you know oh, but um reaction videos about current events and topical things but it's always been a pain because like i don't want to set up my camera i'm terrible with technology one of the reasons why my uploads are so infrequent i'm, I'm cack with the technology right so um but with these ones i've just turned on zoom Attach my microphone and, you know, Bob's your flipping uncle-like. So here I am, and I'm going to be hopefully doing more of these type of reaction-style vlogs just on my webcam or my Zoom cam, where I haven't got to stress about any of the editing or if the camera's on or in focus and if my microphone's attached and yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we are. Welcome to my first like, vlog reaction webcam video and the story I want to talk about is a story which I saw in Nation Cymru. A lot of us in the Welsh sphere are getting our news hit from Nation Cymru these days which is a fabulous thing. Um, so thank you Nation for alerting me to this. I then retweeted it and sent out a tweet about it and that is the news, if you can call it that, it's not quite news, that um, visionary director, as he's hailed uh, before his movies, visionary director uh, Zack Snyder is thinking of or going to be making a movie based on the Arthurian legend, King Arthur. So you guys know, if you watch this channel, if you read my tweets, I have been making, in fact, I'm still recording and editing an hour-long documentary about this. Um, it hasn't gone away. It's still there. I've just been thinking about what to do with it, particularly, um, particularly in a post-COVID world. I started making this documentary in 2017. I filmed all around the country for 10 days, making it, and it's a film a documentary about the misrepresentation of the geography of the Arthurian legend and the fact that Wales is never mentioned or referenced in the movies of Arthur or the TV based on Arthur, despite being a frequent, almost ubiquitous filming location for all these films. Long story short, King Arthur in its earliest original form is a Welsh mythology. Um, it's, the name Arthur is Welsh. The most of the early stories were in a book called the Mabinogi, and it's, they're onomastic stories, so they're connected to place names in Wales, many of which are still the current place names. Anyway, so Zach Snyder's done an interview um, with this website, with this YouTube channel called The Minutemen in which he very briefly alludes to the fact that he's going to be making a King Arthur, what he called a faithful retelling. So let's just try in this whole screen sharing thing to see uh, what I can do with you. I'm hopefully gonna try and show you the website where um, he says this stuff. So let's have a look. So here we go. It's um, Zack Snyder developing faithful retelling of King Arthur's legend. Now, again, it just repeats that in the subtitle. Uh, director Zack Snyder confirmed he didn't. He's working on a faithful retelling of the Arthur legend and hopes to make it at some point in the future. This is what he said. Um, I'm working on something, but we'll see. Uh, I've been thinking about some kind of retelling, like... Uh, a real sort of faithful retelling of that Arthurian mythological concept. We'll see, uh, maybe it'll come at some point. So I just want to talk about a couple of things. The first of which, I was going to be a little bit sarky. Um, snide? I was going to be a bit snide about Snyder uh, doing this interview and about the people who interviewed him. So it's on this channel here, which is Minutemen, until I saw right, that these dudes have got less than 700 subscribers and they've, they're, they're kind of like blowing smoke up his bum throughout the interview. It's a hard watch. I'll touch on that now. They've got less than 700 subscribers, and they've secured an interview with Zack Snyder. So fair play to them, and fair play to, to Snyder himself. He's obviously a very nice guy, if a somewhat 
confusing um, communicator and filmmaker. Like I couldn't watch the whole. In that's just uh, so. There's a, there it is. If you want to watch it, and the first stamp in Italy. <laughs> oh, nice. Here he is speaking to the guys, and it, it's a hard watch, right? And um, the reason it's a hard watch is like I'm not sure about you, but I just find Snyder just can't articulate himself without using just constant like pop culture shorthand references. It's like someone who would communicate in memes, you know, and um, it's, I find him almost impossible to hold my attention when I'm watching him. And yeah, he just can't communicate very well. But he's clearly a, a nice fella. Um, but here he's talking about a faithful retelling of the Arthurian legend that he wants to make. If you saw Batman versus Superman, um, which is great to have on in the background if you're doing work. Visually, it's a stunning film, mess of a story. If you watch Batman vs Superman, he, he kind of tweaked the Bruce Wayne origin story so that um, rather than watching Zorro at the theater when his parents get murdered, Bruce Wayne and his dad and mum are watching um, Excalibur, John Borman's 1981 adaptation of The Death of Arthur, which is probably the most popular Arthurian film. So Snyder's clearly got an influence in this mythological concept. All I want to say really in regards to us in Wales is let's try not to be too cynical and damning about this. I'm, I'm contradicting myself here because I've tweeted moderately sarcastically about this since the news, if you can call it that, since the news broke. But let's try and have an open mind. Um, maybe what we could do is maybe just keep an eye on things, uh, keep an eye on the news about it, maybe politely tag Mr. Snyder in a maybe collective Welsh way, letting him know, letting whichever production company might be taking it on, letting any screenwriters know that if they want to be doing a faithful adaptation of the Arthurian concept, well, number one, there's no such thing as faithful because he only exists in stories. There's no documentary or physical evidence about Arthur Pendragon. But number two, and probably most importantly, if there is such a thing as a faithful adaptation of the story of Arthur, it's a Welsh one. It's The story is located in Wales. The earliest references to Arthur are in Wales. The name is a Welsh name. Camelot's thought to be in the south in Caerleon. It's clearly Celtic British, of which Wales is the original British Celts. So maybe if you want to have a positive effect, rather than dismissing this and taking the piss effectively about Mr. Snyder and his odd storytelling choices, we could be a bit more positive about this and just keep an eye on it. Talk to your friends. Talk to your friends about King Arthur. Start a conversation about the Arthurian movies. Um, mention the fact that Arthur is a Welsh legend. Mention the fact about the Mabinogi, which is the first source of the Arthurian myth. And just keep an eye on it. Um, thanks for watching this vid, everybody. If you have done so, I've got a Patreon now, bad boy. I've got four whole Patreons, which means I can afford like a bag of panheads and maybe some toast every week as a virtue of the money I get on Patreon. Obviously, I'm hoping to grow that. What I would love to do this channel is the key element is representation. So I want to make up for the deficit that exists in the film world with regard to representation of Wales. I want to be having conversations like this with different people and I want to demonstrate a demand for better and more regular representation of Wales in the world of movies and TV. If you want to help me do that, a pound a month is badass. A pound a month from any of you I've got 4,000 subscribers now, and I've got two, three and a half thousand Twitter followers. If just a couple of hundred of you could give a pound a month, you will see the content shooting up in terms of regularity and quality, and then we can really start making a diff uh, difference to the film world in Wales and demonstrating, like I say, that demand. Until then, do what you like with this video if you want to support me. Keep an eye on Mr. Snyder, whoever he appoints as his screenwriter, whichever company takes this on, and let's start making people aware. King Arthur, it's a well story, isn't it? Nice one. Ta-da.